What's up everybody welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me here today i hope that you're all doing well this weekend we're doing a little vlog as you can tell by the title we're doing a little reset vlog this is it's weird because i want to say it's a slow weekend but at the same time i have so much that i want to do it's not necessarily like things that i have to do but things that I want to do mixed with a few things here and there, you'll see. I have a couple things going on today. It's a big errands day. As you can see, I already did my quiet time with the Lord this morning. I did it outside, which is really nice. It's actually like in the 60s here today. Now it's probably low 70s, but we're getting into that fall weather, which I love. It was actually a little chilly outside. Makes me very happy. Um, we're just gonna run a couple errands. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I have a dress fitting today for an event that I have to go to for work. And so I have a gown and it fits perfectly other than the fact that it's a little too long. So we're gonna head to Nordstrom. I have an appointment at one o'clock and we're gonna get fitted for that. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you as much as I can. Um, I have some furniture that I actually wanna try to donate today and i'm gonna have to do it by myself which we'll get into that we'll see how that goes um i'd like to go grocery shopping my hair is in a bun you know what that means it means it's hair wash day so i want to try to actually get that done and my hair blown out before i go to the fitting if i don't have time then i don't have time and i'll do it later we'll see how that goes i did have plans today they were like tentative plans but they got canceled and i thought about like maybe trying to come up with other plans and i was like you know what a day to myself kind of sounds really nice which is funny because a day without like a saturday without plans months ago would have made me so anxious and i probably would have been crying right now if we're being 100 percent vulnerable where now i'm like I have so much that I would love to do. I want to clean out my jean drawer and I want to go grocery shopping and I want to do the thing. Like I have so much that I want to do and that I need to do. So I'm like, you know what? A day to myself kind of sounds really nice. A friend of mine uh, reached out to me this morning about maybe doing a possible movie night with some friends, some of my friends from college. Um, jury's still out about whether I'm going to do that or not because who knows if it's actually going to end up being a movie night or if they're going to want to go out and do other things and I just I have an early morning tomorrow and that, that's not happening for me so we're going to see where the day goes but before we do all of that I have something really exciting that I want to share with you guys that I have to kind of get the ball rolling with right now so I'm going to take you along with me as I do it. So, as you may or may not know, I had braces when I was 10, from 10 to 12 years old. And then I got older and uh, wasn't really good about wearing the retainer thing. And so my top teeth stayed perfect, my bottom teeth, not so much. So you can see, I mean, you guys have watched my videos, you can see my bottom teeth, not so great. And I don't want to say that I'm like super self-conscious about it, but sometimes I'll like watch my videos back or I'll edit and I see myself talking and I'm like, eh, like it makes me cringe a little bit. So I decided to do something about it. I am in the era of like, if there's something about your life that you don't like, you have the, the opportunities to train to change it. So that's kind of where I am right now. So we're gonna go on a little journey. This is not sponsored, I wish it was. <laughs> um, but we're going on a little journey with Smile Direct Club. Um, I have a friend of mine that recommended it, said she did it and that it 
it worked really well for her. So I have to make my moldings right now. So essentially I take pictures of your teeth, which I already did and I have to upload them. And then I take moldings of my teeth, drop it in the mail. And then the dentists that work over there uh, will make trays for me. And so I'm gonna do it for about a year, but we'll see how long they think I, I need to do it. It's gonna be like Invisalign, so you're not gonna really be able to see it, but we're gonna straighten these bottom teeth out. Okay, so the instructions say we are mixing the purple putty, see, purple with the gray putty. And we're doing two impressions of the top and two impressions of the bottom. So it says to mix these together for about 30 seconds. I think it says until they are soft and thoroughly mixed. And it says if you see streaks, keep folding. Okay, so we're folding it into each other. This is really hard to do with clubs. I actually hate this. I might wash my hands and do the other ones without the gloves, we'll see. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. That wasn't fun. That was the longest two and a half minutes of my life. But look, there's the first molding. I hope I did it right. I think I did. It looks like the pictures. All right, so there's one done. Three more to go. My goodness, it's like actually really rough on your jaw. Not really, I'm making it sound like it's awful. It's really not, but it's not the most comfortable. Okay, here are my four beautiful moldings. I think I did a pretty good job. They look exactly like the pictures do. So I think I did it right. I'm gonna let them sit and dry though. I mean, they're kind of drying, but before I close the box, I'm gonna just let them dry. Um, it's really cool. They give you like a pre-printed paid label already. So all I have to do is drop it in the mailbox, which we'll do on our way out. But I have exactly 50 minutes to shower and do my hair before we leave. The place is only like 20 minutes away, but I just want to give myself extra time. My appointment's at 1. It is 11.40 on the dot. Do we think I can do it? I think I can do it, but I'm going to be rushing. So I'll see you guys probably in like an hour. <laughs> okay, guys, I did it. It's a little bit later than I wanted to. I wanted to leave four minutes ago, but I mean, that's like the fastest I've ever gotten ready. So I have my moldings ready to put into the mailbox and I have my gown, which I'll show you. So this is the gown that I'm getting hemmed. It's a nice red off the shoulder kind of gown. And it's just, it's made for like an Amazonian woman who's like eight feet tall, even though it is a small. So I'm gonna go and get this hemmed. And I just wanna make sure I get there with enough time because the mall that we're going to is huge and I always get lost. And I also haven't been there in probably over a year. Like it's been a while. So I just wanna make sure I get there and that I'm not late. I have my shoes, which are just these nude pumps that I'm gonna wear with it so that I can, you know, have them measure the accurate height that I'm gonna be that night. Um, so yeah, I'll chat with you probably a little bit more in the car, maybe about the event, but we gotta get going, so let's do it. All right, so we're gonna have to add another errand to the list at some point this weekend. Um, I thought the mailbox near my apartment had a big enough slot for the box um, for my moldings. But it didn't, but that's okay. We're just gonna have to go to the actual post office at some point, which is fine. But we're on our way to Nordstrom, to the mall. So this event that I'm going to, I'm going with a bunch of my coworkers. It's an award ceremony type thing. I don't wanna give too much away for security reasons. But um, yeah, we all got um, a couple nominations, our station, and so it's a big like gala, right? So it's black tie, so we need gowns. Um, I went last year and I'm blessed to be going again for the second year. And um, a lot of people that I'm like actually friendly with and like closer with are coming this year too. So it's gonna be really fun. My mom is coming. My best friend from work, she's bringing her mom as well. So it's gonna be a really fun night. So that's at the end of October. So that's what I'm going to get hemmed right now. And then I think we're gonna go straight to the grocery store from the mall. I'd also like to go to Aerie too to pick up a thing or two. Um, but we're gonna see how long the fitting takes and we'll take it from there. Guys, I'm so late. This mall is blasting music right now. Wow. 
elevator is taking too long. So stairs it is. Raise your hand if you got lost. Okay, yeah, I did get lost on the way back to my car, but I feel like I quickly recovered, so we're fine. We're in the car now, it's already two o'clock. That took a whole hour. Listen, I'm grateful I got it done, but that was a wild ride. Basically, I got there and I didn't really know where to go and it said to meet them on the first floor. So I went and looked at the section that they told me to go to. I asked somebody for help, so they moved it to the third floor. I said, okay. So I run to the third floor, I'm like, it's like 1.15 at this point, so I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so late. Get to the third floor, there's nobody there. And they're like, okay, I'm gonna call them for you. So I guess they call like the seamstresses and <laughs> my lady was out to lunch. So I was like, okay. And she said, let me see if I can find somebody else. She did, she said, go meet them on the second floor. I go to the second floor, could not find them anywhere. So then I asked this wonderful, wonderful um, clerk that was behind the register. Um, and he helped me, uh, so I went and I changed. He was like, these things just as they come and they just want you to be ready, so like, get your dress on, get your shoes on. I was like, okay. But then I got the sweetest little lady. She had a thick, I think it was Russian, I don't know, a thick Russian accent. Um, and she was so sweet, she loved my dress. She was just complimenting me, it was so nice. But she was like, you need to do something about those tan lines. And I was like, yep, I know, like I swear, it's gonna be better by then. So I left my dress. She's gonna have it until October 23rd, which is like a whole month. So that makes me a little nervous and a little uneasy. Um, but I trust her, she's a professional. So, and then I went to Aerie, because they had an Aerie at this mall, which I forgot. Again, haven't been here in so long. So I got two bras that I'm not gonna show you because that's weird. Um, there is a post office, I think, super close to here. So I think I'm gonna go try to drop off the box of my little teeth mold things. Um, and then on to the next thing. I just saw the most beautiful man I've ever seen in my life walk into the post office just now. That's wild. I hope he has a wonderful day. Anyway, I just dropped off my package at the post office. Everybody's so nice today. Everybody that I've encountered at the mall and, and there, I just, everybody's so nice and pleasant today. It's just putting me in a good mood. Um, but I've changed my mind. I am gonna go home now because I wanna start loading the desk and the chair that I wanna donate into my car because the Salvation Army closes at 5.30 and that's three hours from now, but I'd rather just not rush. So I'm gonna go home and do that and then after the Salvation Army, I will go grocery shopping, I think. That's what the day is looking like. So I will keep you posted. Back home now, so before I move any furniture and load anything into my car, let me just walk you guys through kind of what's gonna happen. So this desk right here, I've had this desk since probably 2019. I've had it for a long time. I've filmed on it many times. It's to the point now where it looks very like college. It looks cheap because it is. And I have just outgrown it. I really don't sit here anymore. So I'm just gonna take, it's not much, but I just gotta take everything off, the stuff in the shelves, all that, um, and put that as well as the chair in my car. Now, I don't know if they're gonna take it, but I'm gonna put it in my car, go ask them if they will take it, because I've, I've heard that Salvation Army and like places like that are being a little more selective with the things that they accept, but it's worth a try. The next thing, this mirror, uh, hello, I changed, I changed my pants. Um, this mirror, you guys know it well. Every mirror po mirror selfie I have ever like posted is pretty much on this mirror. You've seen it many, many times, especially if you follow me on Instagram. It's nice, okay? I, I got it from Home Goods again, I think in 2019, 
for like 80 bucks. It has served its purpose, um, but I just think I can find one that um, better fits. So in the places of these two things, there are going to be two big bookshelves here. They're not that big. Um, I was gonna buy my own, but my mom has bookshelves that are very similar to the ones that I wanted and she doesn't want them anymore. So she is kindly don donating them to me and I'm gonna decorate them all nice. It's gonna be very good. They're nice and tall. So I am gonna pick those up next weekend at some point because I have things to do next weekend, but I'm gonna pick them up at some point next weekend. Um, so that's why I wanna get this gone before this weekend is over so I don't have to worry about it during the week. And then I am getting a new mirror. I've already ordered it. It's actually coming on Monday, so two days from now. That's a little bit shorter than this one, but a lot wider, and it has a nice black like arch on it. It's beautiful. You guys will see it at some point. So that's going there. This thing, however, I don't know if I can lift this. The desk, okay, so I cleared everything off. The desk, I can do. It's not that heavy. It's going to be a little clumsy, but I could do it. Ooh, I need to sweep behind the desk. That's gross. Um, this is doable. Again, it's gonna be clumsy, but I think I can do it. The mirror, hmm, let's see. All right, let's see. Oof. Okay, you know what? I thought it was gonna be worse. It's heavy, but I can do it. I guess lifting again has come in handy. Um, ooh, yeah. It's heavy, but I can do it. If I'm being vulnerable, and a little honest right now. It's times like this where having a guy here and like a man in my life would be useful. But at the same time, I have been known to carry heavy things in and out of this building by myself with no help. And when I'm like, when I'm determined, I could do it. Um, if I couldn't lift that, I was just gonna ask my dad to come over because I know he would help me. I shouldn't say I don't have a man in my life. My dad lives less than 10 minutes from me. He would help me. But if I could, if I can just do it, I'll just do it. I do have guy friends that could help as well, but they're kind of far and I don't think they would come all the way over here. So, all right, um, I'm gonna start loading stuff into the car. Well, they took it. It was kind of sad. It was like a little part of my, not childhood, but my, my young adulthood, like leaving it behind. Um, I did a lot on that desk and that chair, a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of get ready with me, a lot of therapy sessions, you know, I, I did a lot on that desk, but I hope someone else, you know, will get good use out of it. Uh, a guy was really nice. He came out to my car and helped me carry it, which was really nice. So now I am off to do some grocery shopping, get some food. It's about four o'clock. It's a few minutes to four o'clock in the evening. So the day is still young, but the list of things to do continues. So let's get some groceries. My goodness, how did I end up in Home Goods? <laughs> so weird. I don't know how that happens. Um, I wanna see if I can find some things for the bookshelves so that next weekend I can start putting stuff on the bookshelves once I get them so they're not just bare. So we'll see what we find. Okay, quick little haul, shall we? I first got this basket that I have everything else that I purchased in. So this is gonna go on the lower shelf and then I have another basket already that's gonna go on the other bookshelf because remember there are two. Um, I have a whole Pinterest like thing that I'm trying to recreate, okay? I have a vision. I have a vision and I like home goods because a lot of those stuff is pretty, not cheap, but like very affordable. So I got three picture frames and you guys know me and my neutral schemes, my aesthetic if you will. So I got this one. It's It looks white, but it's kind of white, white-ish beige. This was six dollars. Then I got this pretty arched frame for I think also six dollars, maybe seven. That no, says it right there. Seven dollars. Cute. And then just a plain black one with a white border on it. So that's gonna look good. I got a little box. This was on clearance, so it was a couple of dollars. It's like a beige-ish white color. Just to sit there, again, for the aesthetic. And then I got a vase that's like a charcoal gray. They wrapped it up so I can't show you, but 
that was also on clearance. So we're just trying to get them deals. Okay, now I promise this time I'm actually gonna go grocery shopping. I swear. Okay. Guys, I'm going home before I spend any more money. Okay? Honestly, no, that wasn't that bad. I did a big grocery haul last week and a lot of it carried over, so I really didn't spend a lot, not compared to what I normally do on groceries. So that's really nice, but I'm going home. My camera's about to die, so I need to charge it before I film anything else. But I'm gonna go home, put everything away, um, and I need to do a little bit of cleaning for the apartment. So that's next on the agenda. I am tired. I've done so much today. It's insane. The last thing I want to do before I can kind of like change and just chill is I told myself I was going to go through my jean drawer because like it's just I don't even know where these pairs came from. I don't know what size they are. I know there are so many that don't fit me and so many and they're all in really good condition. So we're going to figure out which ones fit, which ones we're going to donate and like literally it just keeps it just keeps going because i can't remember the last time i cleaned out this drawer one more all right let's do it these are my tried and true american eagle jeggings they're skinny jeans i don't care i've had these for a while they are kind of big but i feel like i can put like a button adjuster and then just kind of do one of those and it'll fit better so i think i think these are staying these jeans were fun also american eagle but too big so these gotta go all right these are from target uh, it's just this gap here is just not gonna work but they fit everywhere else Gosh, that's why I hate buying jeans. But these are old, so that makes sense. So, all right, I will donate these. These I'm gonna keep, I think. They're American Eagle, and the waist is elastic, and you can tie them. So, I don't know if they sell these anymore. I've had them for a couple years now. But they're really, really comfortable. And because I can tie them, I can make them fit perfectly. So these are gonna stay. Target jeans, same thing. Gotta go. I used to love these, American Eagle. They're like a little cross waist situation, but don't look good. So, gotta go. Uh, I kind of forgot these existed. These are comfortable. These are Target. And I already have a belt adjuster on them. Or not belt, but button adjuster on them to make it tighter. So, I guess I've worn these recently, but I don't remember. These are, these feel like sweatpants. Oh my goodness. Yes, these are staying for sure. American Eagle, I believe. And big. And then these, these are my jeans that I wear all the time, I think. So these are gonna stay. And that's it, okay. I did what I wanted to do. I'm gonna put these in a bag. I'll take them down to my car tomorrow. I'm done doing productive things for the day. I am gonna start editing this video, but I'm also just gonna like, chill my friend was trying to get me to go out but honestly i don't feel like going out i don't feel like going to a bar or anything after everything i did today i'm tired my feet are like throbbing i sound so old but that's okay i'm also going to be out of the house for pretty much most of the day tomorrow anyway so i think i'm chilling tonight and honestly i'm very okay with it hi guys good morning I know I'm the worst. I did not finish vlogging yesterday, but this is going to be a weekend reset. So it's just carrying into today. I really just chilled last night. I made some dinner. I watched a movie. I lit a candle. I edited. And then I was in bed, not like early, early, but I have a decent time. Like I got a full eight hours today or last night. So I'm just putting my shoes on now and then heading 
to church. Also, look how empty it looks here without my desk. And then that's my donation bag from yesterday that I'm going to put in my car. Um, so yeah, I'm not necessarily rushing, but I do need to leave, like, kind of now. So I'm going to put my shoe on and we will be on our way. So here is the fit. It's like 70 degrees outside. It's supposed to get a little warmer today, but this is what we're doing. White fox jeans, which I'm going to be honest, these are kind of like standing jeans. Not the most comfortable to sit in, but you know, you got to do it for the fit. Sneakers, and then this little top that I got on Amazon. It is a little cropped situation, so we're just making sure the pants are, are up. But yeah, this is what we're working with. I think I might go change my earrings, but then we got to go. So I'm a little nervous for church today because after church, I signed up for this class that they give, but I don't really think it's a class. From what I can tell, it's just for like newer people who want to know more about the church to like meet the leaders of the church and the pastors and I guess meet other people and just learn more about like what the church is about, their visions and, and, and things like that. Um, so I'm excited for it. I'm excited to meet new people. I've been going to this new church on and off for since the beginning of uh, beginning of July. So I'm excited. I'm excited to meet new people so that I can, you know, see friendly faces that I recognize when I go to church on Sundays. But at the same time, I'm nervous because I feel like it's going to be I don't know anyone. I know like one person. Um, so it's going to kind of be like the first day of school when you have to find kids to sit with at lunch because I'm pretty sure they do serve lunch at this thing so it's literally going to be like that and so I'm really kind of pushing myself out of my comfort zone here to just like I'm just going to have to be friendly and you know just figure out a place to sit and people to talk to but it's going to be fine and I'm excited so equal parts nervous and excited but it's gonna be good, so I will uh, keep you guys posted and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay guys, we did it. Uh, it actually went really well, it was really fun. I made friends, I made a friend. I like went to the line where everyone was, you know, waiting to go into the class and I saw she was alone and it was like Target acquired. I went over, I introduced myself and so we sat together and that was like my buddy for the day. But I um, met a couple other people, learned a lot about the church and I'm really excited to get involved. I grew up going to church. I am used to being involved and I love it. It's so fulfilling to me. So I'm just really excited about it. I feel really, really good. Um, and God heard my prayers because he, he gave me a friend. He was like, here you go. Here's your buddy. You're not alone in this. And um, yeah, it was really fun. So I'm going to get going. I'm going to talk to you, I think, while I drive. So right now I am obviously leaving church. Um, I'm gonna go meet my family at the little like pool beach club that we are members at. This is like the last Sunday that you can go before they close it for the season. So we're gonna meet there. They're already there actually, but I'm gonna meet them and I think we're gonna have pizza. We're just gonna have like an early dinner together. So that'll be really nice. I'm probably not gonna vlog that one because we're not going to do much in two. I get a lot of questions about why I don't like show family or like my dad and my videos and stuff. A lot of my family just doesn't like to be on camera. They, it makes them very uncomfortable the whole YouTube vlogging, being on the internet thing and I never want to make anybody uncomfortable. That's why I don't even vlog around some of my friends either. So that's why. But we're just gonna have a nice chill dinner by the water and then I'll head home and close out the vlog. But service was so good today, y'all. The message was all about how we as people just naturally, we look for fulfillment and satisfaction and happiness in other people and in things like, for example, how many likes you get on Instagram or looking to a relationship and like begging somebody to love you to feel that fulfillment. I did that in my last relationship towards the end where I was literally, I had to ask somebody to love me and doing that will never make somebody love you more. And it's all about just like finding that fulfillment in the Lord. And oh, it was just so good. It like inspired me to even like 
use some of the notes that I took to make a podcast episode about it because I just think that that's so important and I think that's so relatable that everyone everyone just everybody knows what that feels like so the message was just so good so I'm just feeling really good but your girl's hungry I am starving they did give us pizza at this little class but it was like a little thin piece of pizza it was really good but your girl's still hungry so um oh I just realized I'm gonna have pizza for two meals in a row <laughs> well it's Sunday calories don't count on the Lord's Day so anyway yeah I'm headed to the beach club for the next couple hours it's about 3 30 in the afternoon but I'll probably check in with you guys uh, when I get home alrighty guys I think it's time to wrap up this vlog it is almost 10 o'clock I feel like it's 2 a.m. I'm so tired um, but yeah, today was a great day. I got home around 9 and my dad came back with me because he helped me with something here. But um, it was a great evening with the family. Um, so I'm just back home now. I'm going to watch. I'm on the second season of Virgin River on Netflix. I've gotten into that. It's actually pretty cute. So I'm going to watch an episode or two of that and then I think I'm just going to chill and go to bed, maybe read a little bit because I'm tired. But uh, yeah, this was a really packed weekend. I did more than I thought I was gonna do, um, but it was really nice. It was like a nice weekend reset. I can't tell you the last time I got to just like take the weekend as it came and like didn't have plans. It's been like two months. The whole summer I was just nonstop. So it was nice to have a, a Saturday to just do what I wanted to do and then have a family day Sunday and just chill. So I'm on the couch now. I have a cup of tea right there because we had Costco pizza for dinner, which is so good. But if you know Costco pizza, it is greasy. And so it's just like sitting in my stomach like a brick right now. So the tea should help. But yeah, thank you for hanging out with me this weekend. Um, it was a much longer vlog than I usually do. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know what else you would like to see from me here on this second channel. I will have a podcast episode coming to you soon. It's going to be all about how I quote unquote gave my life a glow up. Um, so it's going to be all about that. So uh, yeah, that's about it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and for being here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.